dear students welcome to geography class today we are going to deal with a new chapter that is atmosphere this chapter we will deal with in three sessions in the first session we are going to have an introduction about the chapter and also we will learn about the composition of the atmosphere finally we will discuss what is the structure of atmosphere we will see the structure of atmosphere bit elaborately and we will conclude this session let's go in detail atmosphere when we say the word the earth it does not indicate or it does not mean a spherical shape of a uh, simple heap of a soil as we see in the pictures but rather it includes four realms and these four realms together constitute the earth so what we are going to see what are the four realms of the earth the first one is lithosphere as we all know what we see as a picture or the land portion is called lithosphere the mountains valleys plains in the soil in which we stand this portion is called this realm is called lithosphere i hope lithosphere is clear to you now we are going to deal with the second realm that is hydrosphere all kind of water bodies are included in it hydrosphere yes third one that is biosphere the living world in which even we are included all the plants and all the all the things that are that have got life are included here so that is what biosphere and finally we talk about the atmosphere that is what our main concern of the chapter so atmosphere the blanket of air around us is atmosphere so all these four realms together constitute the earth when we say the word the earth we mean four realms those are biosphere which means the living beings and lithosphere the solid portion of the earth and hydrosphere all kind of water bodies and finally the atmosphere the blanket of air which we breathe and the blanket of the air that covers the earth that protects the earth so we are going to deal with this portion of the earth the atmosphere let us see atmosphere so the definition can be this one so you can note down directly the blanket of the air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere how it is being pulled towards the earth can you imagine yes i know that you know the answer it is due to the gravitational pull right the gravitation force pull towards the earth this blanket of the air it is being pulled towards the earth by the gravitational force yes it is made up of various gases water vapor dust particles so about that we are going to deal in detail see composition of the atmosphere what are the uh, composition what are the things that constitute the atmosphere see the atmosphere consists of mixture of gases lots of gases that's why it is invisible for us when we look up we don't see much things right yes it is because the atmosphere consists of a mixture of gases water vapor is there dust particles are there pollen grains and many impurities like a sm uh, smoke salt and the other chemicals so all these things together constitute the reality called atmosphere and the main constituent gases let us see which are the main main gases which are uh, there in the atmosphere 
nitrogen 78 percentage oxygen 21 percentage and the other uh, few gases like carbon dioxide argon hydrogen helium and ozone etc these all gases one constitute one percentage of the atmosphere so these are the composition of the atmosphere gases are there water vapor is there and uh, some impurities are there and even in the gases see 78 percentage of the nitrogen 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 covers the major portion of the atmosphere and oxygen is there in a 21 percentage and the other gases are there in one percentage so this is what the composition of the atmosphere i hope this concept is clear see here the diagram here is the diagram of that see here uh, nitrogen that is uh, 78 percentage and oxygen 21 percentage and the other gases one percentage this is what the composition of atmosphere this diagram is important and uh, the diagram is there in your textbook you just refer that to okay now it's very important to know what is the structure of atmosphere structure of the atmosphere see there is no distinct boundary for atmosphere okay we cannot distinct uh, we cannot have an exact boundary here the atmosphere ends no there is no distinct boundary okay even there are uh, layers in which we uh, to which we are going to deal with but even for that there are no distinct boundary we can have an approximate idea about the boundary okay finally the approximately it extends up to 1600 or 1600 kilometers above the surface of the earth as we have seen there is no distinct in we cannot say that in exact uh, 1600 kilometers the atmosphere ends no but approximately an average measurement is being taken uh, that is 1600 kilometers above the surface of the earth so uh, the distance starts from the surface of the earth okay and the density of the atmosphere is maximum near the earth i hope you know the reason again that is due to gravitational force uh, it is being pulled okay about 50 percentage of the mass lies within the height of six kilometer it means in the first six kilometer that is from the surface of the earth around six kilometer 50 percentage of the atmosphere lies i hope you understand the clear uh, concept just to have the idea that from uh, the earth uh, towards the sky around six kilometers and in that six kilometers almost 50 percentage of the total mass of the atmosphere lies and 99 percentage lies within the height of 32 kilometers from the surface of the earth yes now we need to know which are the layers of the atmosphere that is very important so there are mainly five layers of the atmosphere this is not clear okay so the atmosphere is divided into five layers uh, first one is called a troposphere second layer is called stratosphere and third one is mesosphere fourth one thermosphere and finally exosphere so these are the layers of the earth i hope these are clear these terms are clear we will uh, study each one in detail so i'll show i'll give you a, a diagram for that here see i hope now you the concept is clear see there are there are different layers of the uh, atmosphere shown here troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere okay yes i hope this uh, concept is clear now now we are going to deal with the first layer of the atmosphere that is troposphere see this is the lowest layer of the atmosphere 
in which we live and it extends about 8 kilometers at the poles we have north pole and south poles and towards the poles it is around from that surface it is around 8 kilometers and uh, about 18 kilometers at the equator so we we know equator north pole south poles okay so in the poles it is about 8 kilometers atmosphere extends up to uh, the troposphere uh, extends up to 8 kilometers in the poles and 18 kilometers at the equator don't be confused be clear with the concept it is the densest part we have already discussed that uh, about 50 percentage of the atmosphere lies within the uh, six kilometers fr from above the uh, surface of the earth, earth so this troposphere is the densest part and dust particle water water vapor and other impurities like smoke etc all these things are found over here and also all weather phenomena such as a cloud fog rainfall snowfall storms lightning thunder everything occur over here in the in the troposphere okay and the temperature of air decreases one degree celsius within the increase of a in the height of every 165 meter this is very important this is called a normal uh, lapse rate and 165 meters uh, of height every height that will decrease the air temperature one degree celsius each this is called a normal lapse rate yes and the troposphere absorbs maximum heat and protects and keeps the earth warm so that the earth does not go frozen all, all on a sudden or all together so that life on the earth is possible yes that's how it's being protected uh, the troposphere protects us the second layer of the atmosphere is known as stratosphere so stratosphere lies above the troposphere that is the second and it is just above the troposphere and it extends about 50 kilometers above, above the earth surface and about uh, coming to the matter of a temperature towards the lowest part of the stratosphere temperature remains constant whereas um, in the upper part of the stratosphere uh, there there is a gradual increase of the temperature and this stratosphere is very important no clouds very little dust particle and water vapor so you observe the background picture planes are moving there right yes convection convection uh, currents of air are also absent so so that all sorts of weather phenomena no much clouds no much disturbance so that it is very convenient for air traffic so planes uh, fly in stratosphere if you happen to be in an on an aircraft then you have been in stratosphere yes the stratosphere contains ozone the layer of ozone which absorbs the no the uv radiation from the sun and it protects the earth from the uv the harmful uv uv radiation ultraviolet radiations yes so this layer also is very important and coming to the next layer that is third layer that is called mesosphere yes it lies about the strat uh, stratosphere and uh, about 80 kilometers above the earth surface uh, mesosphere lies I remind you again that it's not the exact 80 kilometers everywhere but we have an approximate calculation okay you keep that uh, point in your mind so that you will have a better clarification yes so here stratosphere is about 80 kilometers above uh, the earth surface and this term is very important that is straight opposed it's a narrow boundary between mesosphere 
and stratosphere so a narrow boundary between mesosphere and stratosphere is called stratopause so learn that point stratopause Le uh, remember that term stratopause yes and temperature of the air decreases with increasing height as the height increases temperature decreases so in different layers there is uh, uh, differences with increasing and decreasing of the air okay so uh, just learn that yes more importantly meteors meteors means uh, the broken particles that revolves around the sun uh, when they enter into the atmosphere when it reaches the mesosphere it burns those meteors burns and we feel that like that when we see that phenomena as a uh, shooting light right i hope you must have seen all the shooting light and in the night okay so if this is not happening it is really harmful for the earth so in this layer in the layer of mesosphere meteors burn and when we come to thermosphere that is the fourth layer yes what is happening here it is about mesosphere and uh, about 450 kilometers about about the earth surface uh, mesosphere is there a thermosphere is there and temperature increases rapidly a sudden increase of the temperature is there according to the height okay not a gradual increase but a rapid increase and mesopause that is another term which you need to know that is boundary between thermosphere and mesosphere between the third and fourth layers of the atmosphere okay thermosphere and mesosphere okay so that is called mesopause yeah now there is one more speciality electrically charged particles called ions that that is there in the uh, thermosphere so it is also known as ionosphere so there can be a question that why ionosphere or thermosphere is known as ionosphere it is just due to uh, electrically charged particles in the atmosphere that is in the thermosphere okay that's why it's called ionosphere yes and this particle helps us how it is a, a help uh, it reflects radio waves and enables to have wireless communication we have wireless communication due to the uh, ra radioactive reflex from ionosphere okay this is how this layer of the atmosphere helps okay yeah now we are going to uh, learn about exosphere this is the topper or the uppermost layer of the atmosphere yes and this one extends exosphere extends about 1600 1600 kilometers we have seen and in, in the introduction yes and gradually merges with interplanetary space okay to the space of the other planet okay fine so and very little uh, extremely rarefied uh, mass is not there much mass is not there and very little we know about this region so this is what exosphere so children we were looking uh, about atmosphere we are learning about the atmosphere and in this session we have learned about the four realms of the earth and in one among the realms is called atmosphere and about atmosphere we have learned as an introduction we have learned what is the composition and and finally we have learned what are what are the structure what is the structure of the atmosphere so this intro this session is very important so you just go through once again and um, questions are already uploaded in the portal so please do write down them and uh, learn them okay uh, refer the textbook along with this video clip and Thank you. I hope to meet you soon with the next video. Thank you. Be safe at home.